Hello everybody, welcome to your 30 minute core and glutes workout. Uh, my name is Lana Othborn Parody. I'm a personal trainer based out of Invermere, BC. My Instagram handle is at blastgirl, so if you'd like to give me a follow and check out the rest of my videos, that would be awesome. Wow, so many people joining. This is super exciting. So what we are going to be doing today is a 30 minute workout basically working mostly core and glutes. We'll do a nice long warm up and a cool down at the end. What you're gonna need for today's workout is a bench. If you don't have a traditional weightlifting bench, that's totally cool. A chair, the edge of a couch, a coffee table, um, even a stair in your house, any sort of ledge that you can sit on or put your feet on is going to be perfect. The next thing that you'll need for today's workout is a mini band. If you don't have a mini band, you can still join in. 98% of the workout of the exercises we're going to do today do not use the mini band. And the one exercise we're going to do with the mini band, I'm going to give you modifications. So you need a bench or a ledge or a chair or a step or a coffee table edge and a mini band. If you have access to a mat, that's great. That is what you need for today's core and glutes workout. So as we get a bunch more people on to join us, I'm going to tell you about an exciting contest we've got going. So obviously this workout is part of the Sweat Across Canada series that Impact Magazine is doing. It is sponsored by Liebert Fitness and they are giving away a HIT system home gym, which is an awesome piece of equipment. It's portable. You can take it with you. So you can win one if you go back into the Impact Magazine feed and like the last post that announces this workout with me. If you tag your friends, you'll have an entry. You just need to like Impact Magazine Canada on Instagram as well as Liebert Fitness and then you're entered. The odds are great to win. So be sure to do that either before or after the workout. We're gonna spend about 20 more seconds here checking in and then we're gonna get the party started. So for those of you that do not know me, um, I've been working in the fitness industry for the last 17 years as a group fitness instructor, personal trainer. I worked in Vancouver and Calgary and now I live in Invermere. Uh, I have a four month old son. He was born on day one of the pandemic. So he's probably gonna know that for the rest of his life. I have a three and a half year old daughter and um, yeah, we've just been, crushing it at home, doing the newborn thing for the last four or five months or so. And most of my work was online pre-pandemic. Um, so I've just kind of kept up with that. It's been really awesome to see everyone jumping into the online fitness space because of our altered world due to the pandemic right now. So super exciting that I can sweat with you from the comfort of my own gym. All right, guys, we are going to get the party started here. So what you need is just a little bit of space to, to move around in. So we're going to get those hips and the core and our breathing warmed up before we get into our workout. Our workout today has five exercises. We're going to go through them for three rounds. I'm going to be coaching you and cueing you and doing the exercises along with you, giving you tons of modifications. So if anything doesn't feel good, it's my job to give you lots of options so that it feels better. So first things we're going to do, stand up nice and tall, make sure you've got some room to the side. We're going to start side lunging. So get your hands right onto your hips and I want you to think of laterally shifting your hips over to the side. Because we're doing a core and glutes workout today, we're really going to focus on warming up the hips and the torso before we start loading them up. So this foot that's on the ground right here, you're going to practice rolling to the inside of that ankle. When you do that, you're going to feel a nice stretch on the inside of your inner thigh. Waking up that inner thigh is a great way to get access to those deep core muscles. And let's add some arms. So let's reach the arms over to the side where we're doing that side lunge. So reaching the arms over to the straight leg, that might intensify the stretch down on your inner thigh here. Let's do two more. And then we'll switch to our other leg. All right, let's switch it up. So onto the other side, just start by doing that side lunge. Get those hands on your hips, practice that lateral hip shift, allowing that ankle to roll to the inside so you get that nice pull down the inside inner line of the leg. Really great way to access those inner thighs, wake up the legs and the hips. All right, take those arms up, reach over to that straight leg, Get a little more side bend in, 
wake up the torso, reach, reach, reach those hands over top. Let's do two more. Waking up the hips. Okay, nice. Turn to face your ledge, your bench, your coffee table, your couch, whatever you've got going on there. You're going to take a big step up on on and you're going to send your hips forward, okay? We're going to alternate and switch to the other leg. So we're sending those hips forward. You should be feeling a nice pull on the front of your back. Okay, let's keep up those lunges, reaching the arms up, reaching as we go through. Nice job, guys. Feeling a nice stretch on the front of the hip flexor, getting really nice and tall through the torso. Okay, one more on each side. And we're going to head on down to the mat. So you're going to go onto your hands and knees on the mat, please. So tucking the toes underneath on the mat here, we're going to inhale to drop the belly down, get a nice stretch on the front of your torso. Then exhale to arch up through your mid back. Inhale, drop that belly down. Exhale, arch up. Nice opening through the mid back. Inhale, drop that belly down. Exhale, you got it. Inhale, drop that belly down. Exhale, arch up. All right, we're gonna move into a little hamstring and abdominal activation here. So you'll step yourself back into a high plank, all right? If this is too much load on your abs, please stay on your knees. Otherwise, you're gonna send those hips back into a downward facing dog, and then exhale as you come forward into your high plank. So inhale, send the hips back, enjoy that little hamstring stretch. Exhale, come forward into your high plank. Inhale, send the hips back, Little hamstring and calf stretch. Exhale, come into your high plank. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Let's drop the knees to the ground. Make sure your knees are right underneath your hips. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. And do a little tiny tuck of your tailbone, okay? I want you to imagine drawing your hip bones together on the front of your torso, okay? We're going to take an inhale. As we exhale, let's hover our knees off the ground. You've got that little tailbone tuck. You're pulling those hips together on the front of your torso, and you're hovering. Let's rest down. We're going to do this two more times. This is called bear posture. It's a great way to wake up those abdominals. Inhale, then exhale. Press the hands into the ground. Hover the knees off the ground. Draw the hip bones together on the front and then come back down. One more time, it's a tiny hover. Inhale, exhale, press the arms into the ground, hover the knees, pull the hip bones towards each other on the front of the torso, and then take a rest. All right, guys, we are ready to jump into the first exercise of our workout here. It is going to be what I call a sit-down squat. So come close to your bench, chair, step, couch, coffee table. You're going to set yourself up so your feet are a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. When you sit down, your bum is going to come right onto your couch or your ledge here. About 30% of your weight is going to actually sit down. Okay, we'll do 10 reps. I'll count them with you. So we're going to inhale. I'm literally sitting my bum onto my bench. I'm going to exhale and then stand up. We've got nine more. So inhale as you sit down. Press your big toes into the ground. Exhale as you stand up. Inhale to sit. Big toes pushing into the floor. Exhale to stand up. Nice work. Inhale down. Exhale and stand up. So when you sit there, you're only sitting about 30% of your weight. You're loading up those quads and glutes. Exhale to stand up. We might be going a little slower than you would like to. You've got four more nice and slow sit down squats. Sit those hips back, put 30% of the weight down, then stand up. Good job. Slow and steady. Big toes press into the ground. It's a great way to activate that inner line, get the pelvic floor stabilizing your pelvis as well. One more time. Sit down. You got it. And then stand it all the way up. Okay. Get your mini band. Place it on just below your knees. Now, if you don't have a mini band, 
You can absolutely still join us for this exercise. It's called a tubing skater strap. So we're gonna bend our knees, we're gonna load into our left leg, okay? All my weight is on my left leg. My right leg is going to push out at about a 45 degree angle, okay? I'm gonna stay low. We're gonna do 10 of these. Nine, I'm staying low on this left leg. Eight, relaxing my shoulders. Seven, I'm breathing. If you don't have a mini band, that's five. You're doing this exact same move. Still a great way to load up the hip. You've got three more. Stay low, push that big toe into the ground with your left foot. Nice work. All right, stand it up, switch over to the other side. So we're gonna load up the right foot this time. Get a nice soft knee bend into that right leg. All your weight onto the right leg, big toe down. Left leg goes out at that 45 degree angle, right? 10 of these babies, tubing skater stride. Relaxing the shoulders, breathing, Pressing the right big toe into the ground, that left leg going out at your 45 degree angle. You should be feeling work on the sides of your hips. Same with your quad and glute of that balancing leg. Couple more reps on this side. Nice. Okay. Take your mini band off. We're on to exercise three of five. And we're going to set ourselves up for a side plank. All right. So in your side plank, you've got quite a few options. You can come from your knees or your toes. Pick the option that works best for you. Your elbow is gonna go right underneath your shoulder. You're gonna squeeze your armpit like you were squeezing a water balloon, okay? So as we do this, sometimes my screen is going dark and I wanna make sure that you guys can still hear me and see me. Nice, okay. Maybe from the knees, maybe from the toes. I'm going to give you an arm and leg option. We'll do 10 reps, then we'll switch to the other side, okay? So set up your side plank from your knees or your toes. You're right over top of that elbow. Take the top hip, roll it forward a little bit. Reach your arm up, reach your arm forward, and take your leg back. Then switch. Then reach. Reach and switch. Reach and switch. So you're in that side plank, reaching switching, reaching, and switching. You got it. Almost there. Press away from the floor with your elbow. And let's take a break and switch over to our other side, all right? So get that forearm, press it into the ground, press away from the floor so you're nice and long through your torso. Maybe you're on your knees, maybe you're on your toes. You get to pick the option that works best for you. Reach your arm forward, reach your leg back. We're gonna reach and switch. That's one rep. That's two reps. Reach and switch. This screen keeps going dark. That's why I keep going back up to make sure you guys can see me. Nice job, guys. Reaching that arm forward and then back. Reaching it arm forward and back. Keep pressing the forearm into the ground. Keep pulling the hips away from the floor. You got it. nice and strong. That side plank hold with the arm and leg movement adds a level of intensity. Keep it up. Couple more reps here. Nice job. All right, onto your back. You're gonna get your feet up onto the bench or your coffee table or your chair, whatever ledge you've got accessible to you. Nice. And we're gonna do a little hip lift. So I've got my heels digging into my bench here. I'm going to relax my upper body. I'm going to imagine I'm pulling my heels towards my butt, okay? We'll do a tiny little hover to prep. Let's do a tiny tailbone tap here, just a small one. Now we're going to lift our hips up, glutes and hamstrings doing a lot of the work here, and drop down to hover. Lift the hips up and drop down to hover. Nice work. Let's go a little slower than you think you should on this exercise. Lift the hips up, and then lower down. Nice work. Are you dragging those heels back towards your butt? I hope so. That's going to really activate those hamstrings and the glutes. Yes. If you want to pair your breathing, it's exhale as you lift, inhale as you drop. Exhale as you lift. Dig those heels in. Nice work. Two more. You got it. Looking great. All right, guys. You're going to stay on your back 
on your mat here. Scoot yourself out away from your bench or your coffee table or your chair, whatever you're using. This is one of my favorite exercises. It's called a hand to knee dead bug, okay? So you'll be on your back. We're gonna take our arms up and our legs up to tabletop position. Now take your left hand, press it to the inside of your right knee. Your right knee is pushing into your left hand. Your left hand is pushing into your right knee. Rest your head down. We're gonna inhale as we reach our opposite arm and leg away, and then exhale as they come up. Inhale to reach, then exhale to come up. Push that left hand into the right knee. Push the right knee into the left hand. Now, as we do this, we, we're trying not to feel any tension or pain in that low back. So if you need to refocus or reposition your bottom torso, please do so so that you feel work primarily in your abdominals. If this is too hard, your option is going to be here, reaching your legs out one at a time, okay? All right, guys, let's switch to our other leg. So your arms are up, your knees are in that tabletop, your left knee is now pushing into your right hand, okay? We're gonna inhale to reach the arm and leg away, exhale to come to center. Inhale, reach, try not to let that rib cage pop up, exhale, come back in. How are you doing with your hand and your knee? They should be actively pushing into each other. By activating that inner thigh, we get a lot more stability for our pelvis. Oh, I love this exercise. Inhale to reach, exhale to come back. You got it. Couple more reps here. Push the knee into the hand and the hand into the knee, please. Lovely. Finish nice and strong. Hug the knees to the chest, roll over to your side. The good news is you're done round one. The less optimal news is, depending on your outlook in life, we got two more rounds to go. So find yourself into your sit down squat. Get back to that couch, coffee table, bench, whatever you're using. Set yourself up, your toes are a little bit turned out, feet are a little wider than a hip width distance apart. We're gonna inhale as we sit down. Exhale as we stand up. You got 10 of these guys. Inhale, sit. Exhale, stand. Just like I told you in the first round, push your big toe into the ground. It's a really great way to get that inner line of your legs, those inner thighs working. They work synergistically with your pelvic floor and your deepest core muscles to help stabilize that pelvis. That is good news for all of us. Nice work. You got this all the way to your 10th rep, sit down squat. It's like a little pause, it's like a tease. You're almost gonna sit down, but only 30% of your weight goes down. You got it. Once you finish your last repetition, you know what's next. Tubing skater strides. Get that mini band, put it on. Remember, if you're mini band less today, that is all good. You can still stride with us. We're gonna load up that left leg all the weight into that left leg. Left big toe pushing into the ground. Bend your knee, leg, right leg is going out at about a 45 degree angle. Are you sweating yet? I certainly hope so because I am. Sometimes when we do a core and glutes workout, I think we think that, oh, it's gonna be easy. We'll roll around on the mat a little bit, but your core and your glutes are big muscles, right? We want to integrate them into big muscle, full body movements. Stay low on that left leg. That left quad and glute are working. Both the lateral hips are working. All the way to your 10th repetition. Yes, stand it up, turn it over. Load up your right leg this time. Right big toe pushes down into the ground. Get into that right leg, all the way down to the right leg and left leg goes out at your 45 degree angle. Yes. So even though I'm saying push your big toe into the ground, I still want a connection with your heel in the ground too. That would be perfect for that hip to get loaded and to be really stable through this right hip here. Relax the shoulders. Keep it up. Stay low. You got this. Push through all the way to your 10th repetition. Once you finish that 10th rep, please take your mini band off. And 
We're side planking. We are doing it. Nice job, guys. So remember, in your side plank, you can go from your knees or your toes. Both are great options. Press that forearm into the ground. Really strong through these shoulder stabilizing muscles, okay? Just like you are squeezing a water balloon into your armpit. From your knees or your toes, you're gonna reach your arm forward and your leg back, and then switch. Arm forward and switch. Nice. So, as you're doing all this arm and leg swinging, don't forget about the position of your torso, right? We're pulling away from the ground, we're pressing that forearm into the mat, we're relaxing the shoulders so they're not super hunched up by our ears. Keep it up. Swing and swing. Let's take four and switch. Three more. Whether you're on knees or toes, doesn't matter. Woo! Last one, swing and switch. All right, flip it over to the other side, guys. Set yourself up. If you're feeling shoulder pain, try going from your knees instead of your toes. That's a great option. All right, reach it up. Arm goes forward, leg goes back. We're gonna switch. Remember, this underside torso is really strong. It's pulling away from the ground. You got this. We're into our second round of three of these five exercises. Get strong through that armpit. You got it. Nice job, guys. Keep it up. You've got four and switch. Three and switch. Two hips away from the ground. One. Oh, nice work. All right. Scoot your bum close to your ledge, your edge of whatever ledge or edge you're using today. Remember, the heels are connected to your butt. We're pulling them towards the butt, okay? So on your back, dig the heels in. Do your little mini hover, okay? The hips come about two inches off the ground. Try to tuck the tailbone from there. Relax the upper body. We're going to lift the hips up and then back down to hover. Are you pulling your heels towards your butt? You've got eight more. Slower versus faster on this one, please. Seven more. You got it. Activate those heels towards the glutes. Five left. Four. How is your upper body? Relax it down. Three more. Dig the heels into your ledge. Two. Here's your last one. Nice. Okay, inch yourself away from your bench so that you've got some room for your legs. Back to our favorite exercise, the hand to knee dead bug. So onto your back, arms reach up, legs come to tabletop. I like to do this with an exhale to stay nice and strong through those torso stabilizing muscles. We're taking the left hand. We're pushing it against the, right, the inside of the right knee. The right knee is pushing into the left hand. We're going to inhale as we drop opposite arm and leg. Exhale to come up. Now, if you want to make this harder, try dropping a straight leg. Okay? If you want to make this easier, try dropping a bent knee. If this is too much load for the low back, then you're here and you're reaching one leg at a time with your head resting on the mat, all right? Got a couple more reps here. Actively push left hand into right knee. Right knee into left hand. Exhale as you come back up. Okay, switch it over to the other side. Right hand pushes into left knee. Inhale to reach. Exhale to return. Inhale to reach. Exhale to return. Check out your upper torso, basically the lowest part of your ribs. Are you popping your ribs up as you reach your arm away, or are you able to keep the ribs down as you extend out? You've got this. Actively push, hand into knee, knee into hand. Ooh, so close. Couple more reps. Nice job. Finish off this last one here. Roll it over. We are on round three. So awesome. You guys are doing great. Yes, so many of you still with me. All right, sit down squat. About 30% of our weight is gonna pop down onto that ledge that we've got going. 
Nice job, guys. Toes are a little wider than hip width distance apart. We're sitting down into that sit down squat and we're standing up. So let's sit down with an inhale and then stand up with an exhale, pressing big toe into the ground. All right? Get about 30% of your weight onto that ledge and then let those legs press the floor away. You got it. Nice job, guys. Inhale as you sit. Exhale as you push away. Almost there on our third round. Couple more reps. Woo! Last one. Nice job, guys. All right, mini band goes on for the final time. Remember, if you don't have a mini band, you can absolutely do this skater stride movement. The band's going right below the knees. We're gonna load up that left leg. Left big toe pushes into the ground. Let's take our right leg out at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, we got 10 reps here, stay low. Relax the upper body. You got this. Get those 10 reps on each side. Five more on this side. Four, stay low, relax the upper body. Three, last two, big toe down. Last one, stand it up. Switch over to the other side. So right foot gets all the load. Right big toe connects with the ground. Get into it, 45 degree angle with that free striding leg, just like you're skating. Beautiful. You got it, guys. You got 10 reps on each side, right? We got five more here. Relax the upper body. Four. Go slower than you think you should. Three. Two. Last one. Nice. Get rid of your band. Find your way onto the mat for your last round of side planks. So, absolutely fine if you're feeling fatigue through the shoulders to go into your knees on this one. The knee is still a great option for the side plank. Let's take that top hip, roll it over a little bit. You're gonna reach your arm and leg in opposite directions. Then we're gonna switch, all right? Stay really steady and strong through those hips. Press your forearm into the ground. Forward and back swings, 10 on each side. You got this. Woo! Reach and switch, reach and switch. Are you hugging that water balloon with your armpit? Stay strong through this shoulder. That's at least half the battle of this exercise. Couple more reps. Woo! I swear this is the one that makes us sweaty, right? Okay, switch it over. You got side plank, forward and back reach on that other side. You're choosing if you're doing knees for your side plank or toes. Listen to your body, especially in this third round. We're gonna reach opposite arm and leg, arm, and leg. So forward and back is one, forward and back is two. You got it. all the way to 10 reps, actively pushing that forearm into the mat. You got it guys, keep it up. Strong, strong, keep breathing. You're in your third round of three. Woo! Only two exercises to go after this one. Keep those hips stacked. Once you get to that 10th rep, we're moving on. One more. Nice job. All right, guys. Final set of heel elevated hip lifts. So get your legs going. Dig those heels into the ground. We're going to do our little prep hover. So on our prep hover here, I'm actively digging my heels into the bench. I'm coming up to a little mini hover, a couple inches off the mat. I'm doing a mini tailbone tuck, just a tiny tailbone tuck going to keep those heels digging in, then I'm going to lift up and lower down. Ten of these. Lift up and lower down. The whole time I'm actively pulling my heels towards my butt. They're obviously not going anywhere because the bench is there, but that's the action that I'm engaging. My heels coming towards my butt as my hips lift. Oh, you got this. All the way to your tenth rep. You're so close. Dig, dig, dig those heels down. Hamstrings and glutes working. When you get to your 10th rep here, guys, I want you to hold. Hold at the top, okay? Can you tap your knees together and open them up? Tap your knees together, open them up. You're only opening maybe about 50% of your max range of motion here. 
Keep pulling those heels towards your butt. It was a spicy little throw in I did there for you. We got four more. Hips up. Three, two, and one. Ooh, nice. All right, move away from your bench or ledge so that you've got room for your legs. Final set of your hands to knee dead bug here. There we go. So you're going to take your left hand. It's going to actively push into your right knee. Your arms and legs are going to go up to that tabletop position. Your head is resting down. Left hand into right knee. Inhale to reach opposite arm and leg. And exhale to bring them in. My rib cage is not popping as I extend my arm and leg. Inhale, then exhale. Remember to make this easier. Go with a bent leg, right? To make this a little more challenging, we're going with a straight leg. You got it. All the way to that 10th rep. Actively push hand into knee, knee into hand. Inhale, exhale. Finish off that 10th repetition and we're switching to your other side, guys. Knee into hand, hand into knee. Opposite arm and leg are gonna reach. Extend with an inhale. Exhale to bring them back in. Making it harder with legs straighter. Making it easier, less load with knee bent. Both are really great options. Meeting yourself where your body is at today. Not where you think it should be. Actively push knee into hand. Hand into knee. Oh yeah, you got it. Almost there. Inhale to extend. Exhale to return. Couple more reps. All right, team. Place the feet onto the ground. Give them a little, the knees a little rock from side to side. A little massage for the low back there. Now we're going to cross one foot over our opposite knee. You have arrived at the stretching part. This is the fun part, right? We're bringing the knees in towards the chest, getting a nice stretch through our glute. If you want a little bit of assistance, that ledge that you had, you can push your foot into that ledge to bring your shin a little closer to your chest. Now, you can stay here if this feels comfortable for you, or you can start to rock your hips from side to side. Just making this stretch a little more three-dimensional, getting into some deeper parts of the hip muscle here as we're stretching out those glutes, rocking from side to side. Okay, let's switch it up. So cross the other foot over your opposite knee. Remember, if you want to use your ledge for your other heel to push in for a little bit of more intensity, you can do so. Bringing those legs closer to your chest will intensify the stretch. You can stay here or you can add the rock from side to side. <sighs> Feels good. Nice little massage across your sacrum there. Deep stretch into the side of your hip. One of my favorites. All right, we're gonna roll over to our side. Make our way up to hands and knees here. So your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. We're gonna walk our hands to the side, kind of like we were a dog, looking around to find our tail. And then we're gonna walk through to the other side. Should be getting a nice stretch through the side of your torso here, your QL muscles. Sometimes they can hold on for dear life. Going from side to side, getting that side body lengthening one more time on each side. Okay, let's take one foot in front of us into a half kneeling position here. I'd like you to do a little tailbone tuck, then start to send your pelvis forward. As we do so, we're going to reach the arms up. Rather than arching through the back, I want you to think about growing up really nice and tall, feeling that pull right down the front of your hip flexor, stacking the ribs over top of the hip bones, taking nice deep inhales and exhales, circle those arms down, and then switch legs. So half kneeling on the other side, get that kneeling position, little gentle tailbone tuck, but then start to lunge into it as you bring the pelvis forward, keep the ribs stacked over the pelvis, Reach the arms up, not to arch back, but to grow tall. Deep inhales and exhales. 
Nice work, guys. Grow long and tall, like a string is pulling out through the top of your head. And then open up through those arms. All right, you are done. Woo! Sweat fest. Thanks for joining. So nice to have you here with me today. Once again, my name is Lana, at Blast Girl is my Instagram handle. If you want more guided workouts with me, you can go to my Instagram bio, click the link in my bio, and there's a lot of options for you there. Thank you so much for joining. Nice to see you guys. Oh man, so many familiar names. Remember, you can also enter to join a Liebert Hit System home gym. You just need to go back into Impact Magazine's last feed post where they announced the workout with me here today. Like that, tag some friends in the comments, make sure you like Liebert Fitness and also Impact Magazine Canada, and then you got an entry. Super fun. Thanks guys, so nice to see you. Have a good rest of your Thursday, and I'll talk to you soon.